Hey folks, I'm Philippi, and welcome back to Age of Wonders 4. We are here in the third story mission where we are with the bad guys looking for a, an item to help further our cause. But in this realm, there's a bunch of crazy people that we need to take out. Now, we took out one, Clarissa the Red, or Carissa the Red, and uh, she, as a hero, has joined our cause. She's in charge of Pyro over here. Uh, and then we also have to defeat uh, Minshara. Uh, Sinrin and Kier here. Uh, I think there's one more. If I remember correctly, if you zoom in a little bit, you can see it on the upper left. Yeah, there are five Godir. We've only found the four. We've defeated one. So we have to continue on our way. Now, Sinrin we know is over here somewhere, so we can continue to move this way and take him out. We should also explore this underground passage at some point, and I should get a third army going over here, and I'm working on it. With this over here, we got a four stack, We're working on a six stack, which I'll bring over this way once we get that done. I really want to get to teleporter tech soon so we can start moving around this place a little easier. But um, in the meantime, I'll we'll have to deal with in slow mode. I also want to finish clearing out this zone, get this uh, Archon's Blood section cleared out, probably. Continue on our way. I should probably take a look at this watchtower as well. So why don't. You, my friend, uh, why don't we end our turn, because that's what we're doing. And we'll see what we can do next. Now, first is going to go take out a uh, an Ancient Wonder up here, Ashen Ruins, as best she can. Now, we produce something here gives us more gold, which is amazing. Granary is boosted, I should grab that, so let's do that. And I should produce another unit in here. Let's get a Glade Runner going in this uh, spot. Uh, oh. You, my friend, need to cross these mountains. You're going to take forever to do that, so we'll hold on. We'll move there. What else is here? Halheim produced the hulls. Good. Uh, I don't have much stuff left, so I think you will just produce uh, merchantile goods for a turn for me. We did get the Glade Runner tech. That's excellent. These gremlins, what are they like? So they are a level 3 summon unit. That's pretty good. They have melee strikes and then behind you. So what does behind you do? Target sustains damage and turns around. Next line of sight rules. Cannot be used within an enemy zone of control. Those are fun. So some chaos. They're not very tanky. A little bit of uh, health here. Could be fun. Let's so confusion do. At the start of battle, enemy units are displaced four hexes and given misfortune. And then the crow. Let's get the gremlin, I suppose. I don't want the crow, and I don't think so confusion it will be that helpful, so we'll just leave that be. Uh, you over here, let's have you stand on the watchtower. Reveal all that area for me, which doesn't show me basically anything, but I thought I'd do it anyhow. And let's have our leader um, head to the underground passage, but we'll do so by landing in the city first. And in this city, can we purchase a unit? I don't have any money. So not at the moment. I could go to the Glade Runner here. What is Clarissa? What do you need in your... Not Clarissa. Um, Ascara, what do you need in your army? You have a fighter unit. You have a pyromancer. You have a support shaman. You have a sunderer. You could use another frontline fighter. And this unit could produce the spell shield. Which might be good. Which does do stunning stuff. Or a hound master could be good because you can produce a hound, which is another front uh, line unit. Or the clade runner, because they're just good. Great question, what we should do. Let's take a look at our. Uh, we have a crypt, right? Yeah, you in the crypt, I think you'll just stay there. I could sell you. You in the prison. I could convert you over. Do you have anything good? Giant Spain, which is a level 2 um, charge weapon. Mm. 
Boca robes are not bad. You have the crappy leggings. You do have the tier 3 mount spider. Uh, I don't think either of my leaders can be on a mount it's at the moment, so it would be the fourth leader, which I am due for, which would be on the mount. And I could get you. I wouldn't mind a ranged unit person. Who's in my um, hall here if I go to recruit? Maybe Duelist has plus 3 defense and resistance and deals plus 50 damage against heroes. And um, Rooted Healer. This unit and all friendly units adjacent to this heal 20 temporary hit points and he enters defense mode. built-in healing sap. Now, I think I'd rather an archer unit, and neither of these are particularly archery. So I might wait around for these to re redo. It could be... Duelist couldn't be bad. It would be like an archer sniper for enemy heroes. And that's not too bad, but the has plus three defense and resistance. Not that useful for an archer, so I think I'll hold off for now and I'll leave the person in the prison. Uh, I might execute them actually. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep this person, let's execute them. We'll have them collect some mana for us for now, yeah, but then we'll decide what we want to do after that. Your orders are ready. What about you? Are you ready to move? I did move you. Do I want to risk going in as is? I think we're pretty strong. I have a Houndmaster, right? I do. And do you have a spell? A summon spell? No, but you can eat corpses. But no, you don't. Let's give it a try. If we fail, we fail. Okay. Has this already been taken out? Have I been gearing up for this the whole time? Why can she not go in? I'm confused. Is this already done? This one says explore. That says explore. That says explore. That does not. Oh. I suspect this is already done. Okay. Well, let's have you move over here. You can kill off this guy. Do you have any movement left that you can attack him? No. Okay, that'll be next turn. Wasted a bunch of time here because I thought this was not uh, done, but apparently it is. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, you can't get any income. No, you don't have any more stuff coming in. That's fine. You are also good need to build anything here. Uh, 
you could build something, but I don't have any money. I don't really need the, uh, the heroes here. Let's sell off these remains. Now I got money for a Hallheim. To actually build something? Maybe the estate hall? Could be the wizard tower as well. It gives me a bit more Imperium. Yeah, let's grab the wizard's tower. Let's get that going. Alright, next turn. To get my draft up, it's a little low. And I may come over to the Cursed Borrow here and um, with Clarissa. Here, I'll have you come over here. None of you take on this. This should be a nice, safe battle. Thanks for coming out. Close that up. Let's have one of you leave. Uh, you are a mage, right? Yeah. I'm gonna have my Sunderer leave, and I'll have them come down here. And I'm gonna have you come over here and grab this. There we go. This is a medium as well, right? Yeah. That might be worth trying. I wouldn't mind trying another, like, tier one. This is a tier one, right? Yeah, the crystal thicket is a tier one. That would be a good one to grab. I don't know. We also have to get moving around the map. So we got tranquility pool, yeah. get another thing? We did. We got the liquids done. So, Manor Nodes give me more knowledge. Excellent. Summon Gremlin is also done. Create Forest, but Aspect to the Root is so good. I don't know if I can pass that up. I think we're going to get that. Uh, and I want to create some of these research posts. Can you be something else if I switch you? You could be a conduit. One turn these will be repaired, okay. Are there any good heroes available? Let's see, recruit, is it the same too? It is. Let's um, let's explore down below. So let's have you pop in. It does appear to be a brigand camp right here. Can you attack? You cannot. What about you? Can you make it down here? attack. No. Okay. That's fine then. Let's summon the uh, one gremlin. This sounds like fun. I'll put that into our leader's army, the gremlin, I suppose. Attacked me, but sure. Thank 
Thank you. Oh, hold on. Uh, got the gremlin first. Basically no damage. That's done. We got the White Wolf. This is a tier 3 mount. Pretty cool. We got a Sun Priest. Neat. And some stuff. Cool. We also got a... Arcanist. Okay. Now, do you need some new stuff? Why don't I get rid of you? I'll put you with the Arcanus, and I'll stick the Sun Priest in here. That's a bit better. Well, there's both support units. Do you have a support unit? You do as well. Okay. The Arcanist is a level 1, I believe. Yeah. Tier 1, not that useful. Okay, well, we'll hold off. Let's have the Arcanist explore to the south here much going on there. Of course I go this way. Not much going on there. Let's have you head up this way. I think there's another nasty spot that we have to deal with. People still want to join me. Town Hall is done here, making me even more money, love it. Um, can you expand? You can expand. Or no, you can't expand. That was confusing. Okay. Uh, what can you build me? You have one forester. That's not helpful. Spell jammer wouldn't be too bad. Op camp for just stakes. Gives me food, production, and draft. Counts as a forester. Draft for a decent forester. I only have the one. Doesn't seem that useful. Although I should probably convert these over to foresters, to be quite honest. Narcane conduits. Let's just do foresters here. And then maybe I can build a uh, one of those things up there. are relatively happy here. Knowledge and draft, let's do that. We'll get the battle site going. You produce a granary down here at Pyre, that's good. That increases your food income. Mana Obelisk would be good. We need two quarries and we only have, we have zero at the moment actually. You're not ready to upgrade yet? No. The mint needs three farms, we only have the two. Bathhouse needs two farms and a quarry, we're still short a quarry. The state hall needs three foresters, a short forester. Men ink is pretty good at the moment. Might hard build one of these. No conduits, that wouldn't be useful. You only have the one forester, so it's also not that useful. I think I might hard build something that requires a forester.
the estate hall. Yeah, let's just hard build the estate hall. Halheim's done with their wizard tower. Now you could also build the estate hall and give me more food. And the ancestral blood hall. Let's do that. You got your storehouse. That's good. That raises the amount of um, food you're producing. I guess we got the mana obelisk here. Which I think I produced automatically. Um... See mana draft and production. Let's do that. It's fairly cheap, also. And you can annex another province. Let's get our third. Our third quarry. And have you move towards getting the crystal thicket? Yeah. Also give you a bit more food. Uh, you can go down here. You're done here. I'd like you to head up to um, the Crystal Thicket, please. Alheim has a full stack, so I want to send you this way. And I want you to get producing a few more units for me. Certainly a Glade Runner. And then we'll end our turn. Not sure if I'm going to use the Mind Thread spells again. Let's see. Rite of Autumn. From the tangled depths of the wild near your city of Hallheim, a crackling song, cackling song even, of an autumn fairy entices you. Come, bless the land with apples, let the harvest rest, the spoils for all to grapple. Feed bear, bird, fay, and nest. It is asking that your this year's harvest to nurture the creatures of the wild. We can get growth, nature boon, and all cities gain stability. We can gain growth. We gain an autumn fairy. Or, it's only one turn of growth. Or Nature Crisis. Oh, let's get an Auto Fairy. Perfect. I think the Spring Fairies and the Summer Fairies are the better fairies, but they're pretty good. That'll form the basis of an upcoming army. Uh, you will uh, guard the city for the moment. We've got the battle ritual site done here. Uh, shrine to the war god. Cool. Blacksmith give me more draft. Or the seer hall. Let's do the seer hall. Aspect of the root is done. Start new research. Darn. I was really hoping we could get the tree one, the summon forest. We did not. This gives non -barbar barbarian units that thing. Some twine projectors aren't uh, too bad. They do have the healing sap built in, which makes them quite powerful. I think we'll grab that. 
Uh, you guys need orders. You guys continue to move right. You need orders. You can continue to move up here. You need orders. You can definitely take out that. No problem. What do we gain in return? A Houndmaster. Cool. Now, do you need to replace anything in this army? You have Mending, Awakening, and Awaken. You have Invigorate and Poison. So what does Invigorate do? It gives me 10 hit points, Strengthen, and Regeneration. Okay. And what does Awaken do? It's Awaken for 3 turns. It gives me Spirit Damage on base attacks and activate any dormant traits. I think I like that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Sun Priest out. Hey. I'll give you the Houndmaster. And we'll continue to move forward. And the Sun Priest will follow. As a backup unit, I'll have you come over here. Gather that gold. And this two stack here, which is very hard to click on. Doesn't seem to be anything over here. This also seems to be a dead end. As does this. This is probably the end of what's down here. So I'm going to have you move back to the underground passage. A hero did level up, that's true. Oh, I do have rune leggings. Give you resistance. I might give that to my boss instead, boss man. I don't think I have any good thing here. No, I just got crossbows and stuff. That's fine. And nothing here that I want. Good. But I will have you level up. Now, you do have... I could give you battle magic. I could give you resistance. Or lightning evoker. Uh, what do I have in here? Dark Ritual. Enemies in a 1 hex radius sustain damage. All corpses in a 1 hex radius turn into zombies. Not bad. Restoration is very good. Virulent Outbreak. Enemy units in a 2 hex radius become diseased or poisoned and or poisoned. Saw that before. Demon Step, Teleportation, and Vision of Woe. Enemy units in a 1 hex radius fumble their attacks for one turn. Restoration seems very good. Let's get that. And then uh, we'll pick the skill. Non hero units gain 10 plus 10 damage. Really seems powerful, eh? Or lowered upkeep. I'm not suffering from upkeep right now, so let's do strength training. Call that good. We'll end the turn. See about getting some new heroes, hopefully, in the pool. Spells ready to cast. I definitely want to cast this. It's going to cost me two and three and six. So it's going to cost me 12 gold and 18 mana. That's fine. The aspect of root it is. Heroes offered to join. That's these two again. Not really impressed with them. We got the Seer Hall. Probably get the estate hall going. The Wizard's Tower, Room of Recall. Hmm. Wizard's Tower, level 2. Blacksmith. Let's get the blacksmith going. Mm. 
You got the Evoker's Abode. Excellent. Stone Conjurer could be good. Tavern could be good. I just have you slow build a tavern. For now, this is boosted. Here, let's see the boosted thing. Who needs orders? You guys need orders? You're going to the underground passage. Actually, why don't I have you come up here and join this army? I have you head over to the underground passage. Uh, I'm gonna have you guys come this way. Maybe you should head south, actually. Nah, I'll have you come this way. Can you walk over this? I think you can. Let's give it a try. Why can't we have you come over here? Clarissa will continue to move up here. Uh, you guys will move up to here. And I don't know where this bad guy thing is. Maybe it's this way. Nope. Definitely over here somewhere. Don't care about the seed of chaos. Off we go. Oh, did we find someone? Yep. The madness of Fricka Dionysus. Blessed be the day, O Asera, on which we met my heroic savior. Africa Dionysus makes a theatrical gesture, shaking her hands in tears. The gleeful miscreants call me the Queen of Mockery, but I am not. They hold me captive and dress me up to their ruler out of delusion or mockery. Each day I must watch their vicious ploys and endure the pain of their victims. Please, drive back the gleeful miscreants and free me from their throne of thro thorns. Okay. Oh, and we found the traces of Gilderwood aftermath. While you ponder the strategies of this war on many fronts, your scouts are recruiting now from different regions of the Crimson Caladra. They speak of demonic encounters, vicious monsters, and rampant war bands roaming the land, and mad testaments to the rulers of long forgot of long fallen who came to the Crimson Caladra in search of the. Gildergoyle's power. As War Queen, you may claim any of the treasures your scouts have brought back from their journeys. We can get an artifact. A level 2 orb. Not that good. 218 or a bunch of draft. I think the draft is better. Do that. And let's head back here and build some more stuff. Uh, another blade. Let's get a Berserker. That's good. Let's get a second Berserker going as well. All that good. Aspect of the Root is ready to go. Let's catch that. These are the same heroes, don't care. Fine Protector summoning is good. Now we can pick a new spell. Now I do kind of want to go down... Um, the Dark Root a little bit, this route. Tome of Great Transformation. Home of cold and dark. Nah. Sanctuary. Subjugation. Subjugation raid could be good. It's 
Tome of Cycles. Mm. Tome of Vigor. Yeah. Terramancy. Transmutation. Lowers my lightning resistance, but gives me blight resistance and defense to my whole race. Whenever an enchanted unit sustains non-physical damage, they gain bolster resistance, increasing their resistance, and status protection, reducing their chance. That's pretty good. So, total transportation is a big maybe. Pandemonium could be fun. Turns the target race into a conduit for chaotic energies. 10% damage for each of the target's negative status effects. Clicks random status effects to all units in a one hex radius. My battle mages and support units, 30% chance of inflicting random negative status effects. Maybe. Or Devastating. Devastated Sphere. War breeds are just so good. Flame burst weapons. Unit kills explodes, dealing 20 fire damage to adjacent enemies. That's pretty good. Unleash the Hounds, the Siege Project. Let's get this one. I think Devastation makes sense for our play RP-wise. And, uh... Ooh, I should have gotten the Warbreeds. It's okay. Hopefully they'll appear soon. Orders required, let's have you move up here. Let's have you move up here. Let's have you move up to here. Um. Excuse me? no thing to defeat down here? Weird. Alright, Carissa, you're almost there. Alright, I want you guys to start coming over this way. And uh, you guys don't have any orders, so I think you'll just wait there. When the Seed of Chaos is done. Projector? I think so. Get one of those going. Certainly for Carissa's armies down in the south, she's gonna need some more support. We do need to start making money. Meeting hostile Mysticarium. Get uh, raising cities deal 20 gold in permanent income. Yeah, we might grab that next time we go to raise a city. And over here, cities may expand their provinces located two provinces further from the center. We might want to get that too. And this one siege project slots. Okay. Basically here now. I'm gonna have 
you come sit in this city for a minute. And if you come through here, driving this way, uh, and you can come and join them. Let's have you move up. Oh, there it is, a small monster den. Gotcha. Have you move up too? And have you move up there? Alheim can build something. I need something that gives me money. Maybe the Merchant's Guild? 10 gold per mine. We only get one mine here, so that's not that useful. This requires a conduit. Could build the Seed of Chaos. Gives me Chaos Affinity. Lowers the research rate of Chaos stuff. Maybe, maybe. Who else needs stuff? You built something. Can you get me something? You need the mint here. So you need an extra farm. Can you get a thing? You cannot, but for 24 I can get you a thing. And the mint needs a third farm, which you could get. Uh, you could go here for a farm. Here for a farm, here for a farm. Or we get the Cursed Borrows. Let's grab that farm. Then you should be able to build the mint now. You can. Good. And Helheim, I think you're just going to produce materials for one turn. That's good enough for me. This needs one more turn to cast, that's good. You're building me one more Berserker, you are. You're not building me any units, right? No. And are you building me any units? No. Good. I do have the Glade Runner here. Excellent. Yeah, so this is kind of a weak army here. The Glade Runner is pretty good, but the other units are pretty weak. We'll just have to let that be. Alright, let's end the turn. Continue on. Odd, I haven't seen another hero yet. Looks like there's one down here. Yeah, and there's one over here. Yeah. Interesting. Flying protector. You guys are at six. I don't really need you there. Uh, Clarissa. Let's get you an entwine protector. So we'll have you move out. You summoned in. Let's go do this thicket. Uh, four of my troops against the magic, and then uh, we can auto combat. It's pretty low risk. Get nobody damaged, not even really hurt. And now we have the aftermath. So she can earn her first wages. She receives 300 gold. That could be useful. Gain a spirit wolf. They're not that good. A barb shield. That's not useful at all. We get some mana, which we don't need. And a hero become the people. We don't really need the stability. Let's get the money. And now the crystal thicket can be um, absorbed. A couple of little units over here we could blow up on the way and level her up, I suppose. 
We'll do that. I'm going to have you move over to here. Thank you very much. Uh, can you, perchance, for 144, I could pick it up. Can you grab the thicket if I do? I, can, I, can I hover over this? I hover over this. If I do that, you cannot reach this. Okay. It stinks. can't reach it because you need more range, but if I do this, it needs 800. If it doesn't give me more range, it does. I quite have 800, though. Do you need a fourth farmer for anything? Yes, the merchant skill. Let's grab a farm uh, up here. That'll help quite a bit. All right, flame burst weapons are done. Start new research. Did not get what I was looking for. Let's grab leaf skin. It's only a single turn. And uh, let's start crossing the mountains. Leader to cross. Uh, you can go up to here. You can go up to here. You can go up to here. And do I want these weapons? It cost me two and three. For uh, that's nine fourteen. Oh, twenty eight. Let's get it. I can handle it. I really do need to build some new uh, stuff, though. Some new um, money buildings, and I'm working on it. I think I really will with Clarissa or Carissa. This isn't Silent of the Lambs. Um, found that city that I was talking about. Although I don't need it anymore, to be quite honest. I'm gonna have you move to here. I'm gonna have you move to here. And we'll just auto-combat this, thank you. I lost one mana magma spirit, not a big deal. Ring protection is pretty cool. We got a wind speaker instead. A level two unit, not that useful. We'll take it anyhow. If you come over here, two support units. So the wind speaker does do conjure animal. Come on, come on. And unleash the beast and poison blast. Is that better than you? Well, also does poison blast and invigorate. I do that and I come up. Oh. Tier one animal, not that useful. Unleash the beast. Target friendly animal gains killing momentum and strengthens, and then we get a warning of poison blast. Hmm. Good question, I'm not sure. You guys can't move, you guys can't move. There is looks like there's a little bit more of a path going this way, so I might look. I think we're probably done there. Uh, you're coming to the capital. Go with that army. You guys are coming across the mountain as best you can. I do need to bring my army up. Uh, Clarissa, why don't you come 
back south, I suppose. Well, you blow up this on the way, why not? We got a nothing battle for you. We get a bit of money out of it, which is helpful. And we get a new unit. We got a level one spearman. Useless. We'll have you come over here as well. Looks like some people are really fighting on the other side. Still this duelist and the root healer. Well, I guess we'll build the duelist, why not? I want to uh, go here, I want to reset your skills. Uh, but before I do that, I want to check what I have. So I have a level 1 Great Axe, which I don't want. A level 2... Two-handed weapon, I believe. Giant Bane is a level 2 charge weapon, or the Heavy Crossbow is a level 2 weapon as well. Now the crossbow... ...does single shots. All of these do. Why don't I give you that? Give you the Ring of Protection, Visor of Farsight, Chestplate of Vitality. Thiefling Howl deals damage and applies weakened. I'm sure you can keep that. I should sell some of this crap that I don't want, like these wolves. Um, just got here a great axe. One of these stats of decay. Staff of radiance, I don't think I want. It's a level one orb. No, oh, there's level two. That's pretty good. You could put on the rune leggings. I think I'll give that to my hero, though. Okay, so you're done. You have a full army. You can call it a great army, but it is an army. Why don't you come south with Clarissa? And we'll explore down that way. Let's have you come to here. Pilgrim's Passage. Should get the wayfaring thing. Yeah, let's get it. Why not? And that'll let us continue on that way. Flame Burst Weapons is ready. Let's enchant that. Berserker done. Could put a um, person here. Mog the Disciplined, I guess, could be there. You can annex something. Suppose you'll annex another quarry here. You're just going to produce me money. This skin is researched. Curse of misfortune. It's mis misfortune to a bunch of people. It's useful. Moliate. Enemy unit is in a one hex radius. It's the same 10 fire damage. It's the same extra 10 fire damage if they're already burning. Let's do Curse of Misfortune. Now I gotta make the big decision of what I do. I think I'm gonna spin this off as a vassal, because it kinda sucks. No, 
I want to build a city here. Got kind of crappy territory on this side, but if I built it close to this side, I could take this forest over. And the Cursed Paros. Um, there are two mana nodes here and a gold vein. That's helpful. The Silver Tongue Fruit and the Tranquil Pool are not. Tough question. Maybe. Maybe we want to take it something down this way instead. We'll see. I continue to build a little army over here in Pyre. I'll bring uh, Carissa and uh, this new leader down together. Now this way, so we can blow that up. Perhaps I'll take out the Primal Passage on the way. Which looks like it's still occupied, because if I click on this one... Yeah, it doesn't have anything below it, so I think that means it's cleared. Which is good. Um, yeah. That'll be in the next episode, so hope you're enjoying the series. If you do, like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel quite a lot. Um, and uh, we'll come back and we'll try and finish off this story as best we can. We've got to put, a, put it into a bit of a faster gear here, because they seem to be building things which are going to cause them to win. So we're going to head down here and try and blow up this leader uh, right here. And uh, we'll head over this way and get over Mysticarium as well. We'll grab the uh, the other leader and another stack. The three stacks I have here and head that way. In fact, it's three and a half stacks, so it might be good. And then this way we'll try and get three and a half stacks, maybe four stacks heading south as well. Once that's done. Alright, anyhow, join me in the next episode, and we'll see how this goes on. Have a great day.